Easy Gamer here, and let's play some more Secret Files Tunguska, shall we? I almost say said Skyrim because I've been playing a lot of that lately, but well, uh, here we are. We are at Marange's place, an old, very run down castle where he has been living. Someone came and threw him down a well. They were probably looking for something. Since he was connected somewhere in all of this. And we have to save him and also solve why. Well, something. <laughs> it's been a while since I have actually been playing. The last videos were from uh, 2014, in December somewhere. There's a sword, not in a, not in a stone, but in a stump. Let's take it. Maybe we need to fight somewhere. I'll give it a try. Maybe I was King Arthur in a previous life. Oh, that surprises me a little bit. Right. Or is it a stone? Might be, I'm not sure. It's a sword anyway. Centuries stuck in stone don't seem to have had any effect on the blade. It is still sharp, and there's not a spot of rust on it. Hmm. Apparently it was a stone. Chimney cover. It almost looks as if the chimney has a helmet on. Yep. Just... to, uh... Just to be specific, if I can remember where I was supposed to go. A real torture chamber. I think something like this in a museum is really amusing. But when I look around here and imagine that people really were tortured to death here, I don't find it so funny anymore. Right. There's even a... I hope that's rust. <laughs> Anyway, since we're here, gonna pick up the pliers. They might be useful. Don't think there's anything in here we can actually. Yeah, we can take the chains. Actually. Right. The point of all this is. There is a secret passage here. Mm, let's see. It says something. A statue. Most probably one of the Morangis. Probably. The statue is massive and cannot be moved. I can't take it with him. Oh my. I believe it says something somewhere, but... Pictures of landscapes. If I'm correct, the scenery around the castle could have served as the setting. Probably. Uh... So, what do we have here? Knee socks? Long underwear. Nothing here that I might covet from the owner. Oops. What's this? What did I get? I got a gold coin. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we will see uh, a painting somewhere at some point where uh, this guy is wearing a lot of, lot of different things. For instance, a sword. What was that? Looks like I accidentally triggered some kind of mechanism again. Yep. Put a sword on him. And something triggered. There's a secret passage behind there. Alright, let's go and see. But we need more things to get where we're going. A passageway. There are a few steps down into a dark passage. It smells rather moldy. I wonder what's waiting for me down there. Moranji, at the end, anyway. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 
we can't cross from cross over there. We need to put more stuff on the statue to put more things down here. So we have to look for more stuff that looks like things we can use. Uh, candle holder is not over there. The candle has burned down almost completely. Right. Let's go out for now. There was something over there as well. Oh yeah. That's for near the end. There's something down there. Can I... Light the torch? Yes, I can. That can be ha handy as well. I believe this is the last resting place of one of Lord Morangi's ancestors. So I think as well. The coffin is made of massive stone. No chance. We need to do something here. That's for the end. There, uh, there I can be. Yeah. Here. Here's the. The painting is of Lord William Morangi, who lived here from 1270 to 1305. What an impressive guy. Yep. The sword we got already. We need some sort of shield. I think something that looks like that could be useful. We have a helmet. That thing is what we are looking for, I think. Which is in the crypt we were just in. So, to do that, we need to do some stuff as well. Now that clock is a red herring. This clock says quarter to seven. It has obviously stopped running. That's funny. The pendulum is still moving. Yeah, I was stuck here for a while and... Uh, that thing... I was sure there was something about it. It was not. Seems as if this fireplace has not had a fire burning in it for a long time. Probably not. Let's see. There's some stuff here as well. Oil lamp. An old oil lamp. Seems to have plenty of oil in it too. Then let's take it, by all means. It's not like someone owns it or anything. Although the tips of the spears are very old and have already seen action, they are still pretty sharp. I'm sure no one I'm sure no one would mind if I took them then. There is a point to all of this. I'll just Most of the books don't really interest me. But here's a book about haunted castles. It talks about Morangi's castle. It says that there's a rumor that William Morangi, who lived from 1270 to 1305, was buried without the usual customs and traditions, and they even refused to give him a funeral pyre. He was entombed in a sarcophagus wearing only a simple robe and his family's amulet. They say he's been walking through the castle and seeking revenge on intruders after midnight ever since. Even if I don't believe in ghost stories, I should probably finish rescuing Morangi from the well before midnight. Good point. I don't think I've ever actually read that book. Let's see, there's a lever. The chain moved a bit. I think I'd better release the lever again, otherwise the chandelier that's hanging from the chain will fall down. Yeah, we'll need that for later as well. Let's go down and back. We could light... let's see. Was that? Yeah. I can't just. Yes, I can. Um. Let's put the gold coin in there. If I hold the coin into the fire, it most certainly will melt sooner or later. But before that happens, my arm will have burnt to a crisp. Hmm. Right. Let's try some combining then. 
I think I'd better take the coin out of the fire again. Otherwise, the gold will flow into the forge. It's obvious why that thing is called the Iron Maiden. The thorns are so sharp, I wouldn't touch them voluntarily either. But we do have a hot coin. The tip easily penetrated the gold coin. I think I'd better not imagine how it would look if I were stuck between these thorns. Better not. The ring is beautiful, but mainly hot. I should watch out that it doesn't become deformed again. You need some sort of things to cool it down, don't I? Let's see. Please, row across the lake twice and already my arms are ready to fall off. I really should exercise more. <laughs> well, you do work in a museum. And you're no Indiana Jones, that's for sure. Wonder, why do I need to go all the way to the other side to cool it down? I'm sure there is sea by the other... Oh well, never mind. Very pretty. Perhaps I should give it to Nina. It'll definitely suit her. Homemade ri homemade gold ring. Huh? I'm gonna give it to the statue instead. Has anything happened here? It's raining quite a bit. Yep, the rain gutters have fallen down. That happened while I was away. Anyway, it's just lying around here, in the way. Two pieces of rain gutter from the pub that are stuck together. That means I am now already in possession of my first pieces of my own home. Yep, he's saving up. He's saving up for a home. Let's go sailing again. Uh, back into... Because they're stuck together. I'm gonna need a rack. Apart. This is how I could separate the two pieces that are wedged tightly. Right. Now we have more stuff. Alright, we have a ring. We have those for the feet. We're going to need something... Shield, which have escaped. Oh, there is. There is actually a skeleton in there. I haven't noticed. <laughs> well, um. So let's see. It's a middle door. We can have. No. That's this one. Um. That's not the one either. There then. There we go. Here, have a ring. Sounds like I triggered some kind of mechanism again. And you can have those. Sounds like I triggered some kind of mechanism again. Let's go, let's go down and see. something in the niche. There's a small key in it. I got a small key. I can go all the way up here. There's a gate. Which I can't open. So we will need more stuff. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, there was more things I could have done. An absolute dream. I could get any woman with something like this. If only Nina were here. Right. For an a, absolute yeah, dream. Right. Um, I think you have to do some more. Uh, some more rowing. Here we go. Let's see. Well, there 
is a ben bench vice. For some reason, I can put those in there. I've now wedged the spear tips into the vice without mutilating my fingers. The ultimate proof that one never ceases to learn in life. Right. The tips of the spears are clamped into the vice, one after the other. That's good. It's an improvised saw. I am going to... Take this board. This plank is extremely long. I can't walk around with it forever. Alright, I'm gonna... Cut it down to size, shall I? I'm gonna try to saw the board into a tolerable size with the tips of the spears. That worked. Alright. That's what I needed. <sighs> thinking, thinking. It's all coming back to me, sort of. Could he use that directly? No. Then what was it for? This plank is still very long, but now it's almost transportable. That's good. Mm. I don't want to get stuck. What was the key for, anyway? Wasn't for, no, it wasn't for gate. Was it? Um, painting. No, I remember what is what it was for. Something. Um, also, I can go. Oh, right. Already did that. That will do, though. Still missing something. The chain moved a bit. I think I'd better release the lever again. Otherwise, the chandelier that's hanging from the chain will fall down. Did something heavy, or at least something. Don't do. A really nice chandelier. I ask myself why the chair is in the middle of the room. Also a point. Uh, I don't want to be stuck. The game help was disabled in the options menu. I knew that. I did it. decoration. I really hope that it is only decoration. So do I. Ideal for people whose height to weight ratio does not correspond to today's ideal of beauty. Mm. I'm actually quite happy with my figure as it is at the moment. I'm sure you are. Uh, this room has, a, has been very useful, but 
end of the rope. Mm. Anything else fun I can find down in there? I'm sure the key was for something. I have no clue how I'm supposed to get through the bars. Still missing stuff. Actually... A statue. Most probably one of the Morangis. Well, it's the last thing to open that gate, maybe. Right. Um... We have that, we have the sword, we have a ring. We need the helmet. It's not... Can I use that? No. And no again. Is there's yeah, I'm sure I'm missing something. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite sure of it. Uh, something I didn't pick up, maybe. I would hate to row back to the island again. Fire is extremely hot. I know it is. I'm gonna go one more. Typical Irish weather. Actually, one should simply stay in bed on days like these. There is a big one there. Anyway. Seems as if this fireplace... And that's the stairs. <sighs> Go figure. There's nothing... He's gone. Bottle. Oh, I should say more bottles. Hey, there's stone. Nobody will miss Probably it. Probably not. I think that was the thing I was missing. So. Stone on board. Lower chandelier, but I think it's broken. Ask myself why the chair is in the a chandelier that can fall down. 
I guess I'm done with that. Pick up thing. Go. To that room. The previous cover for the chimney. Which looked slightly like a helmet, so put it on. Sounds like I triggered some kind of mechanism again. Why that works, I have no idea. Very inconvenient. Uh, now we have the final gate. Which I guess we will tackle in the next video. In the meantime, this was your host, the Lazy Gamer, logging off. Bye, guys.